so much for joining the Needy Med special topic webinar, RX Outreach, Making Medications Affordable. My name is Carla. I'm the Director of User Engagement at Needy Meds. And before we get started, I'm just going to offer a few tips so you can make the most out of the presentation. First of all, if you do have questions, you can type them in any, anytime into that questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Just know we will reserve answering questions until the end. If we don't have the time to answer your question, we will follow up with you by email. But of course, we will provide the contact information for both Needy Meds and RX Outreach at the end. This webinar is being recorded and will be available on the Needy Meds YouTube channel. And you can find copies of our PowerPoint presentations, as well as other materials we thought you'd be interested in, in that handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel. So let's get started with what is Needy Meds. Now, as you can see on your screen now, there is our fancy wording about our mission statement and a statement about how we achieve our mission. But simply put, Needy Meds connects people to programs that will help them afford their healthcare expenses. And we do that free and anonymously through our website, needymeds.org, and our helpline. Oops, sorry about that. And that helpline is 1-800-503-6897. We are on the East Coast. So we are open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. weekdays, Eastern time. And we do have Spanish-speaking counselors as well. On your screen now is just a screenshot. Sorry, it looks a little blurry, but I apologize for that. But this is a screenshot of needymeds.org. And I always like to put a snapshot of our website up because it gives me an opportunity, first of all, to show you what it is, and second of all, to point out some resources I think you'd be most interested in. For example, if you are looking for healthcare savings resources, you'll find those under the healthcare savings tab. Also, I mentioned that this webinar is re being recorded and will be available on our YouTube channel, and you can find a link to that on the top right of our homepage with the rest of those social media icons. I think it's the third one from the left. And we hope you subscribe. That way you'll be notified when new presentations, webinars, or videos are added, and you won't miss out on anything you may be interested in. You can view or register for other upcoming webinars on the calendar events on the bottom right hand of our homepage. So now, as you saw in our mission statement, an important part of what we do is educate people. And of course, we do that by letting them know about needy meds but also by letting them know other ways to save on or afford their healthcare expenses, which is why we are so pleased to have our guest, Bill Vatterat from RX Outreach here with us today. And before I introduce Bill, let me tell you just a little bit about RX Outreach. It's actually the nation's largest nonprofit, fully licensed mail order pharmacy. It offers more than a thousand medication strengths at affordable prices. Mission to provide affordable medication to the underserved, RX Outreach partners with hundreds of clinics and organizations across the country to provide a crucial health safety net for those who battle both illness and poverty. Since 2010, RX Outreach has served over 420,000 people and helped them save more than $822 million on their prescription medications compared to retail costs. Now, I will be honest with you, I was, um, pr in preparing for today's presentation, I asked my friend and colleague, Bill, who's the presenter today, to provide me with some updated stats for RX Outreach, and I really was blown away by those numbers, that since just 2010, that they've served over 420,000 people and helped them save more than 822 million dollars on prescription meds compared to retail costs. I was just blown away by how much they've been able to accomplish, and I needed to stress that. So now let me move on to tell you a bit about our guest. Um, Bill Vatterat is the marketing manager at RX Outreach, but as I've said in other presentations, that title really doesn't quite cover the extent of what he does, nor his passion for helping people. Bill has worked in nonprofits 
for over 25 years, including the last five and a half years at RX Outreach. He graduated from Catholic University in Washington, D.C., and later earned a master's degree in theology and in divinity from the Kendrick School of Theology. He also recently completed his doctoral work and passed the comps in educational leadership at St. Louis University. I think both his professional and academic experience speak to his dedication to helping people and making a difference in their lives. So we're so proud and pleased to have his partnership and are grateful that he's taking the time to share his expertise with the Needy Meds audience. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the mic and the screen to Bill. Now, as we do that and he grabs the screen, I will remind all of you that again, if you do have questions, during Bill's presentation, you can go ahead and type them into that question section of your GoToWebinar control panel. And Bill, if you go ahead to the top left-hand side where it says display settings, I think that will give us a larger view. And remember, if we don't get the chance to, thank you, Bill, and if we don't get the chance to answer your question, we will provide our contact information at the end, and we encourage you to reach out to either RX Outreach or Needy Meds. So without that, I will pass the mic and screen to Bill, which is why you are all here today to learn about RX Outreach. Thanks, everybody, and enjoy the presentation. Thanks, Carla. Um Carla, can you just see my PowerPoint or is the GoToWebinar on the screen as well? Nope, I see just your PowerPoint Perfect. as large as it can be. We're good to go. Thanks awesome. for checking, Bill. All right, thanks, Carla. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I appreciate you being here. Um, I echo uh, Carla's welcome uh, that this is um, an important topic. All of us are here for different reasons, um, whether you're a, a patient yourself, whether you're an, an advocate, uh, whether you represent um, a clinic, a doctor's office, uh, or even if you're uh, just here to uh, find out about a person in your family that needs medication and you want to find another resource, um, we welcome you. Uh, this is um, this is why we're here to reach out and and help folks learn about RX Outreach. Uh, I I, I want to first of all just let you know that. Um, I'm not gonna tr cover everything. This is kind of a high level uh, overview of RX Outreach, but I wanna make sure that everyone's questions are answered. So as Carlos said, please use the chat. Um, everyone has pretty much the same questions about RX Outreach. And the first is whether it's real. Um, yes, we're real, we're legitimate, we exist. Um, why haven't you ever heard of us? Well, um, I'm not sure, but hopefully today we'll be uh, a day that you can come away with lots of answers. So um, RX Outreach, is, as Carla said, is, is a country's largest nonprofit mail order pharmacy. Uh, today, we're gonna give you an overview, um, discuss our, our mission, um, the how and why, some special programs and a partnership. Um, one thing that is, is important to know is that RX Outreach, um, we, we do, uh, we are mission focused. So most importantly, um, we are a nonprofit that exists to help people get the medication they need. So we want to improve the health outcomes for patients. For That's why we, we try to be patient focused, transparent, um, convenient, and sustainable. We're not here to replace uh, your local pharmacy. Um, we're here to to complement what others in, in the healthcare uh, field are doing. So our mission uh, is to provide affordable medication to people in need, and that is pure and simple. So everything we do is guided around that. When I actually started at RX Outreach um, about five years ago, I started in the fundraising and development department. Um, and I asked, I said, why don't we just add a dollar to each prescription, and then we wouldn't have to do any fundraising. And uh, I was quickly put in my place and uh, they said, you know, if you knew our patients and if you, you talked to some of the folks, you'd know why that would be, uh, that would be counter to what our mission is. So our vision is that everyone has access to the medications that they need. I'd like to introduce you to our president. This is uh, Daryl Munden. We are a minority owned uh, nonprofit um, and Daryl, uh, as you can see here, he, he sees it as an honor 
to, to work and lead our organization each day. And it's one of the things that I think is, is important about this. We um, do put people over profits um, and each of us is kind of here for different reasons. Um, Daryl's uh, is, is about his grandmother. When he was 15, his, his grandma um, died prematurely um, through a heart attack and it, it could have been prevented had she had the medications that she needs, uh, that she needed. And um, this is really a, a kind of a good segue to really part of the, 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 the larger issue here. Yes, we're here to talk about medication, affordable medication, giving you access, but you know, it's important to realize that, that two out of every three Americans um, don't actually take medication as they're prescribed, right? And only 60% of the medications um, that are written are actually filled by pharmacies. Um, and half of those, only half of which are picked up. So when we think about, you know, doctors orders, this is what you need to get better. And, and we, we can't afford it. Um, some folks may not have the transportation. Um, some folks, they have multiple medications. Um, and need to pick and choose each month. I've, I've talked to a number of patients that have had to do that. Um, and we also are kind of aware that, you know, especially in the past year, we've had a lot of other uh, financial issues, you know, whether it's um, caring for a loved one, extra money for, for groceries or loss of job. Um, th there's a whole lot of reasons um, why people do not why we don't kind of take our medication as prescribed. Um, and the effects are, are, are real. Of course, we know that there's 125,000 deaths a year that they um, that are preventable, that are due to kind of the non-adherence. Um, we know that this is at least 10% of hospitalizations um, are due to a lack of adherence. So um, that's why RX Outreach exists. So um, we are, as, as Carla said, we are a, a nonprofit mail order pharmacy. We're based in St. Louis, Missouri. We have about 60, uh, 60 employees here. Uh, our call center um, receives around 7,000 phone calls a week. I like to say that we bring corporate efficiency with a charitable heart. So we were started as an internal program at Express Scripts. Um, now it's Cig uh, Cigna, um, and we are uniquely qualified to help improve the health outcomes that I spoke about because of our our program being patient focused and transparent and convenient and, sus and sustainable. So I'm gonna get down to each of those. So just to let you know a little bit as about our statistics. So we've served 420,000 patients, saving $822 million from uh, from retail costs. Uh, we've had, we receive, um, donations from pharmaceutical companies. And uh, that number actually has increased. I just got that uh, this morning, um, but I think we did about 9,000, 10,000 free prescriptions last year. Um, our free medication list is, is on the website and in our newsletters. Um, we've sent over 3.5 million prescriptions um, and we serve the United States, all 50 states and actually the, the uh, U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and, and Guam. We are fully licensed. I saw a statistic uh, that the uh, FDA said that 97% of online pharmacies are, are uh, illegitimate and unsafe. So we are fully accredited. So the National Association of uh, the Board of Pharmacies, um, any legitimate pharmacy has the dot pharmacy, so RX Outreach, uh, .org is our website, but rxoutreach.pharmacy um, is um, our our verified site. We also are uh, a charity with transparency. And last year, and we just learned that this year as well, we were named the top five best online pharmacies by Money Magazine. So, so it's a real honor. So we do have a 98% um, dispensing accuracy rate, which is even better than, than retail. So uh, we're very proud of of our mission and our and our focus. So um, we are focused entirely on our patients. So a lot of what you're gonna hear today has been shaped over the past 10 years. Um, I 
talked to a, a patient last fall and she was a retired teacher. She had, um, when I asked her why kind of RX outreach was important and she said that she had um, rheumatoid arthritis and that if she did not get her medications from us, which she couldn't afford them from her local pharmacy, um, that she would have to move into a nursing home, which meant that her husband, who she helped take care of, that he would also have to move into the nursing home and that they'd have to, you know, move from their home and, you know, life would change so much. And she was one of the folks that had to pick and choose between between medications each month. So let's get down just to briefly how to how to uh, use RX Outreach. So RX, our patients come to us through through two ways. One is just as a regular patient that just finds us um, or hears about us at their doctor's office or, or, or caseworker or advocate, um, and they enroll on our website. Um, they check qualifications, which we'll get into in a bit. Um, other patients come to us through clinics, and um, a little bit later, I'm going to be talking about our preferred clinic program, which also is for doctor's offices. So the enrollment is easy. It can be done online by calling our call center or mailing in um, the application that um, is downloadable from our website, but it also is included in the um, in the uh, documents for this PowerPoint. So it's it's the uh, application, which is a fillable PDF. We only really require the name, address, and, and household income just to get started. Um, we receive prescriptions by e-scribing, um, mail, or fax. Um, we can get transfers from other pharmacies. Um, we do not accept insurance. So everything is through um, you know, credit cards or checks. Um, we'll get into that a little bit too. And then we ship everything uh, for free, standard shipping is free, to either the clinic or the patient's home. Um, and we can do the re renew, uh, refill and renew re renewal reminders um, we send directly to the patients in the clinics. So first, we are, as I said, patient-focused. We are also um, a faith organization, so we believe um, that we honor God by serving others, and so that goes on on each bottle cap that we that we send. So who do we serve, and when to consider RX Outreach? So RX Outreach has income guidelines. So as a nonprofit 501c3, we serve people that are up to 400% of the federal poverty level. And that is um, on income, it's not assets. So this changes each year, um, but you can kind of see we have a full uh, income guidelines at um, our, on our website. And also if somebody is, is close or they have questions about it, um, they can give us a call. Um, we also now have expanded um, our our income guidelines due to COVID. Um, and so if somebody is, you know, lost their job or um, has is taking care of a family member or there's other illness, um, they can qualify for our program. We are keeping this open because the need is so great, um, but we need to make sure because of our charitable status that we know why people are coming in. And so if somebody calls or to go on our website and enter through um, through uh, these portals. So when to consider RX Outreach? Well, RX Outreach is important if you're spending your own money. Um, there's a lot of people that's just easier to pay out of pocket, whether they're uninsured or, or underinsured. Um, if somebody doesn't qualify for other assistance, um, and even if you do qualify for other assistance, but it's still cost prohibitive, so if someone's insured and there's there's additional, the co-pays are too high. Um, if someone is undocumented, uh, if somebody has more than one medication, so a lot of people have, um, you know, may have $400 in expenses of medications a month, and um, and so they some folks would go get some medications from us and others from their pharmacy. Um, again, we we don't have acute medications. We primarily carry chronic. Um, also, if there's transportation barriers, so we mail it directly at people's homes, particularly in, in rural parts of uh, the country, that's very convenient. Um, we've also uh, heard from a lot of our partners that um, the medical adherence goes up because people 
can pay and get it sent to their home so they they don't get tempted by um, a lot of other things at the stores with they if they pick it up at their pharmacy and also simplicity and i'm going to talk about this a little bit more but um, we keep it very very simple um, we have no coupons discount cards or anything like that um, i know um, about i think it was last year um, I went to, I looked on GoodRx because it was a medication that we didn't carry here. And uh, once I got to the, the, the pharmacy, my usual pharmacy, and um, I saw that a medication was $80. And I was like, oh, so I got on GoodRx and, and found it one uh, stoplight away at a grocery store um, for $8. And, you know, I'm familiar with kind of this this uh, industry and such and I thought well gosh if it wasn't you know I have insurance and it still would have been eighty dollars but if I just pay out of pocket one stoplight away it was eight um, and it just it's frustrating because you know I know how to kind of look on GoodRx and find some of these prices but um, it's difficult so we we keep it simple what you see is what you get on our website so for those of you representing patients um, at through clinics um, or doctors offices providers um, you know, if you've if you've exhausted all options for free medication, we know that free comes first, and we know that, and and we we were glad, but we know that free runs out. Sometimes there isn't um, a strength. Um, sometimes things are short dated. So we are a reliable source for that medication. Um, if your patient doesn't qualify for any any other programs, any of the patient assistance programs, if there's um, undocumented. Um, again, if there's limitations in availability, uh, if your patient is unable to, to travel, um, sometimes folks can kind of get to a clinic, um, but then, you know, it's difficult to get back or get to a pharmacy. Um, and when the limitations, particularly because of COVID, a lot of people are, are still scared. So uh, that's uh, other reasons to use RX Outreach. So as I mentioned, we are, we are very transparent. So we have no hidden fees. So what you see is what you get on our pricing. Everything is is online. Um, so this is just an example of some of our chronic. Uh, we we have our medication list. Um, you can search by medication, by brand, um, and by disease state. So um, a lot of our patients uh, print this out, download it, and print it out, and go to their doctor and say, well, I you gave me this medication, but it costs fifty dollars a month, and I can get one hundred eighty days for twenty dollars if one of these medications would work for me. Um, and you know, the doctor, the doctor is the one who can decide, and it, it's it's good to know and ask those questions. Um, this is just a screenshot from our website. You can see that we can you can search, um, download that that one page list I just showed you. You can download an Excel. Uh, I think we have it in PDF with all our pricing. Um, we try and keep that updated, but you know the the the, the uh, most appropriate the, the correct prices are always on the search. So if you go in here and you can see all these prices include the free shipping, they include like the consultation. Um, there's no membership fees or, or anything like that. So we like to to pride ourselves on that transparency. This is just a few of our few of our pharmacists um, in the in the back. Uh, two are Spanish speakers, uh, so we we always have uh, pharmacists in in each each department. So um, so RX Outreach, as I said, is is mail order, no insurance. It's easy to enroll. Um, we do send the reminders, and we do have the free consultation. So all those things again are focused on solving this. This health problem of of um, not adherence of medications. Uh, I like to say that the point of any nonprofit should be not to exist, because the problem for which you you, you were created is solved. Um, as uh, in the last 10 years, we've seen uh, ACA, we've seen expanded coverage in different states, um, and yet our our price of medication keeps going up. And so, um, you know, we still have a reason to exist. Um, so we try to kind of keep it particularly for those in kind of the healthcare, the safety net community. We try and kind of keep it very simple. So we are we are sustainable. Um, this is we've been around for 10 years. We have um, great partnerships uh, in the community. We have partnerships with um, 
um, pharmaceutical partners. And um, we're always, if you, if you hear some noise in the background too, we're actually getting some, uh, getting our offices renovated here, um, updating and carpets and things. So I apologize if you hear noise in the background. But we do have a state-of-the-art technology and, and as I mentioned, great, great partnerships. Um, we have the same buying power as other pharmacies, um, but we are nonprofit. And so some um, folks that may go to an FQHC um, may find that, you know, it's a 340B pricing, but um, they get that. But because um, of different organizations and how they like to price their medications, sometimes you're, it's kind of a guessing game and sometimes it actually is not um, the, the best cost for patients. So um, please compare um, with our, our prices. It's all, it's all there. So I'd like to speak a little bit about our clinic program. So we have a, it's a preferred clinic program and this is really to help um, our, our clinic partners and doctors um, and the patients that they serve. We partner uh, with the National Association of Free and Charitable Clinics um, and the, the, they have about, uh, I think they have about 1,600 clinics across the country. Um, so our first program is um, where the, the, the clinic actually pays for the medications and we invoice. Um, and so as soon as uh, in a, we have a patient portal um, and you can uh, manage all your, your patients um, and we can either send them to your facility or send them to a patient's home. Um, we have a, a, another uh, tier that kind of includes all that, but the patient pays. So if you send in a prescription um, for one of your patients, then we will, um, we will call the patient and, and get the payment. Um, and send it either to the clinic or the, the patient's home. Um, we have dedicated team that assists with our, our clinics. You get kind of the, you do get a, a, a special pricing. So it's just 5% off. That's the only discount that we offer. And that's for um, any, any preferred clinics in our program, in our, that are in our program, just a, an easy MOU. Um, and we also now have expanded that to doctor's offices because a lot of, Doctors' offices are um, serving patients um, that are vulnerable, and and they're sending a lot of scripts to us. And we said, well, you know, you should get this, be able to manage this as well. We give savings reports because I know a lot of um, clinics uh, are seeking kind of with with grants and everything. They can show the savings, um, and it, it's worth if you are a clinic uh, reaching out to us, and um, we can even look at doing pricing. We, we, one clinic asked us in, um, in Illinois to do uh, just a pricing comparison. And I think just the first quarter of, uh, of the year, they would have saved, um, I think, $48,000 from what they were paying for their medications. It's just, just the first quarter. Um, so it, it is a, a, a great savings for um, clinics and, and for the patients. Um, we also we do do some bulk um, supplies to to the pro, to clinics and doctor's offices as well, and we will be starting dispensing later on um, this year. So, what's behind all this? Well, we want to solve, help, be part of the solution for that for that problem of non-adherence. So, we want to people to be educated and to see the see what this program is about, um, and our average patient saves. Um, almost $1,700 from retail. So just two other quick programs I want to tell you about. Um, and a few um, f attendees from the, the last webinar actually signed up for this program. So we partner with clinics, um, companies, nonprofits um, to offer our program um, for their employees, full-time, part-time, um, their dependents and for volunteers, um, folks that may be retired um, or just other volunteers. And we do this because again, it's part of our mission to, uh, in our vision that everyone has access to affordable medication. So um, if you're interested in learning more about this, you get all kind of the benefits um, and 
you know, we have um, like Garda World, a national a national um, company, security company. They they use this, so they offer this to all their employees. Um, you know, because they most of their employees are are, are part time and don't receive benefits. And this is a way that the, those employees and their dependents, their families, um, can also stay healthy. And it doesn't cost them employers um, anything. Just like the rest of our program, a clinic, there's no cost at all. We also have a, a program called Healthy Reentry. And Healthy Reentry is a, a wonderful program. It's, it provides bridge medication for people leaving prison. So when somebody leaves um, a prison, um, they generally get you know, between a week and 30 days of medication. And it's not enough time for them to get to a doctor, a clinic, and have a continuity of care. And so we piloted a program here in St. Louis, which eventually expanded to the entire state of Missouri, um, and now is moving beyond, uh, I think it's starting in Kansas later this year and a few other states, um, but it provides an extra 60 days of medication for a person. So when someone gets out, they um, will get their their 30 day, let's say, and then they'll get mailed another 30 day and, and another 30 day. Um, and this is really important because, um, you know, about half of folks that are leaving um, prisons um, have have uh, mental health issues, and so they need mental health medications. So this really helps reduce recidivism and it, it's uh, public safety. Um, and it's really been embraced by particularly the parole officers, but it's a it's a great program. And I don't think um, there's there, I don't think there's really any other programs like this in the entire country. So um, you know, it's it's uh, just like to share. That's one of the programs we're really proud of here. So just to just to conclude, if there is um, any information that someone would like that is not covered here, um, please let let me know. Um, you can ask the questions. If you'd like to refer a patient, please reach out. Or if you'd like to um, learn more about our, our preferred clinic program, um, all these things are important for um, all of us kind of keeping an eye on each other and, and helping folks stay stay safe. Um, we are a um, we are nonprofit, and so everything that we do is kind of geared towards that and really to serving serving other folks. Um, just want to share one last story here. Uh, f about two years ago, following this presentation, there was some um, some representatives from the Hepatitis B Foundation. They're in Pennsylvania. And they, they reached out, they were on this webinar, and they reached out and, and they said, you know, 20% of our phone calls in the first three months of the year uh, were, were about medication costs and resources. Um, and so they said, is it possible that you could add these two medications to your formula? I think they added, I think they requested four. And those uh, medications were very expensive. So because of our buying power, we ended up adding, adding two of those um, that kind of fit into our model. One of those was $838 and 85 cents, and we offered, we were able to offer for 25. Another one was $981.66, um, and we could have it on our program for $45. So if there's a medication that, as you're looking through our formulary, our med list, that you do not see, um, please let, let me know, um, reach out to us, um, Susan or myself, um, and, and we will uh, ask our pharmacist in charge and, and try and figure out if we can add it to our formulary. So I think that's it. Um, Carla, I, I don't know if we have any questions, but thanks everybody for um, your time and for being here today. And um, thank you for, for any, any uh, help that you can give in spreading the word about RX Outreach. Uh, we have a marketing department of one full-time person, and that's me. So your help is uh, appreciated whether you can follow us on social media, um, you can sign up for our, our newsletters, which I, I'll actually um, share that information in the, in the follow-up, but um, well, I just am appreciative of, of your help. All of his presentation before we lost him. Bill, did you, uh, I think you logged back in. We can hear you now. Oh, okay, I didn't know you couldn't hear me. How, how much? Yeah, just, yeah, no, we just missed when you were you were sharing the story um, about the two medications, and you shared that one of them was eight hundred dollars and 
800 plus dollars and you were able to get it for like $25 and the next one was $900 and that's where we lost you and you were able to get it for Okay, for that's four, where we four, lost you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Carla. I wasn't aware of that. So that was for we added that for $45. So if there is a medication wow. that you don't see on our formulary, please let me know, reach out and we can find out about adding it. Um, also, any of help that you can give in helping let others know about RX Outreach. We have a, a marketing department, a full one full-time person, and that's me. So uh, if you're able to follow us on social media or uh, you know sign up for our, our patient newsletter, or share any of this information with others, that would be appreciated. One of the one of the struggles is just the, that a lot of us don't know about different resources that are out there, and that's why organizations like Needy Meds are so crucial, but your help is too. So thanks. Bill, thanks so much for that very thorough and always heartwarming um, presentation. Like I say in the introduction, um, we're so proud to be partners with RX Outreach. And as I said, I'm so always so pleased that our Needy Meds users have an opportunity to get to know them a little bit and get to know you. Because as I said, just introducing RX Outreach as well as your professional and academic background, it really doesn't do it justice for how passionate and dedicated um, the team at RX Outreach is. Um, and from the feedback we're getting from our audience, they're agreeing with me. Um, so um, we will get to your questions, which I see are coming in, I'm ha I, which I'm happy about. Um, right now, you guys should be looking at my screen again, which is the snapshot of Bill. Um, and while those questions come in, I want to go over, I jumped to that really quickly, but what I want to do is first of all remind you that if you do have questions, you can type them into that question section of your go to webinar control panel and we will do our best to get to get to that to those questions. If we don't, we will follow up with you via email or you can reach out to one of our organizations, of course. Um, one of the things that I wanted to remind everybody is that um, Needy Meds is also here as a source of support. We do have healthcare savings resources. And as I pointed out in the beginning of the presentation, you can find all of those under that healthcare savings tab on needymeds.org, but you can always reach out to one of our call center counselors at 1-800-503-6897. And what is popping up on the screen now are all of those healthcare savings resources that you will find under that healthcare savings tab. If you'd like to learn more about them, you can check out our website further or join us for a Needy Meds Overview webinar. We try and schedule them once a month. Um, actually, we don't have one in May. May. The next one is in June, and you can find that again on the calendar of events on the bottom right hand of our page. So there's the reminder to type any questions you have into that questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. And as we get to those, I want to leave up the contact information for both RX Outreach at the top and Needy Meds at the bottom, as promised. So let's get to those questions coming in. Um, one of them, and this is a great question, and Bill, I'm guessing you get this question quite a bit, which is, can I use RX Outreach if I already have insurance? Yes, uh, yes, we do not accept insurance ourselves, but um, you can use RX Outreach, and there is no, um, there is no penalty or anything like that for someone who does have insurance. Um, I have a family member who just joined this past year and you know she she had insurance and um, is it Medicaid and, and just she wasn't sure she was afraid it would it would cause problems and and things would change and she found that this is easy because especially she can get 180 days and it just comes and it's automatic and the refills and everything. So it is no problem whatsoever. We we um, are here to work with people where they're at. Fantastic, great answer. And thanks for the question. Um, the other question coming in is, how much does RX Outreach cost? Sure, so the only cost is the medication. So the medication price that you see on our website is the only fee, and that includes the free shipping. Now, if someone needs something um, sent overnight, um, then there is additional 
uh, charge, um, most of the time that's not necessary. Um, you know, some some states um, have more requirements for controlled substances. So, um, you know, with an ID and, and such, but um, the, the standard shipping is usually what it's, it, it's free. It's, it's all that, that someone needs um, to, to pay. Yeah, and, and like you said, when you kicked off the presentation, one of the first questions I imagine that you get all the time, is this for real? Does RX Outreach really exist? Is this some sort of a scam because this is too good to be true? And I bet right on the heels of that is how much does it cost? And I and I, I loved, Bill, that throughout the presentation, you peppered it with you know reminding people that RX Outreach is all about transparency and what you see really is what you get. Another question coming in, is does RX Outreach help with any the cost of any over the counter OTC over the counter medications? Oh, we do. We we carry some um, over the counter medications. Um, you can look at our um, look at our formulary, and you can actually just type in on the med list. Just type in OTC, and all those will come up. Some are diabetic supplies, um, and some people like to get because they're already getting medications through us and they can they can get it um, mailed directly to their homes. Um, <clears throat> one question too, Carla, I've, I've gotten before is where, where do we get our medications? Like, how do we get them? Yeah. So we, yes. we get, we buy 85% of our medications <clears throat> from, direct, you know, from pharmaceutical companies and through our, our group purchasing organization. It's the same as everybody else. Everybody kind of goes, you know, the all the um, other major pharmacies, retail pharmacies throughout the country. Um, but again, because we're nonprofit, that's how we keep our, our prices, our prices so low. Um, so these are not short dated medications. Um, everything is, you know, we report to 38, I think 38 states each day and all 50 states each week. So, you know, our pharmacists have to be licensed and, um, you know, all over the country um, for us to to uh, operate and, and serve patients in those in those um, states. So we are really kind of on the up and up. We have surprise visits from boards of pharmacy and um, and everything just like everybody else. So we, we are very uh, we're, that's one of the reasons we're very proud and why we've been around for 10 years is because we are, um, you know, legitimate and we kind of keep everything on the on the up and up. No, no shortcuts at RX Outreach. Yeah, I'm glad you took the time to um, to um, ask that question, because as you said, you you get you probably get that question a lot. I know it's come up in some of your previous presentations, but I'm also glad that our needy meds users and our audience are savvy enough to ask those types of questions because it really is important. Um, let's see if we having. Um, oh, there's just one more question and we do have time. I'm going to squeeze this one in because I think it's a good one. Um, Bill, we talked about um, whether or not somebody can use RX Outreach if they have insurance. And the question is, is there anything a person should be aware of when using RX Outreach instead of their own insurance? I like that question. Sure. Um, no, I mean, you know, I, I think that should be aware of, you know, I, I haven't heard of um, any issues that, that people have. It's it's with with insurance. You know, the insurance, you know, they, you know, again, with us, it, the, it's nice because you know the price. You don't have to kind of hold your breath when you're waiting for it. Um, you know, the doctor's offices um, and clinicians that use us, um, you know, they, they, you know, we're trustworthy and everything. Um, I can't think of anything that I've heard about with insurance. You want to make sure, obviously, we carry the medication. So, you know, we, we you know, to make sure that we carry it, we mostly carry the generics um, and chronic medications. As I said, we do carry some brand, um, some stuff that would be kind of considered acute medications. But if we don't carry it, please reach out and I can see about, you know, whether we can add it to the formulary. Um, but no, there, there really isn't, you know, isn't a, a, a downside for insurance. That's why when we started this Serving Those Who Serve Others program, the pharmacy benefits program, a lot of the companies were so excited because they just couldn't afford to offer the benefits to folks. And even people that did, it kind of kept insurance down the medication costs 
because what like what it, it actually costs them with insurance um, is significantly more than it would be if they just paid paid for their for their employees and and bought it through RX Outreach. Right, right. And I think that was an important question. I think people that are not yet familiar with RX Outreach, and we get this is needy meds as well, um, I think um, asking some more questions to make themselves really understand how it works, that it is a safe organization to reach out to, and more importantly, should I be comfortable using this? So those type of questions, um, we, we really appreciate. Um, I always say that if there's an audience member that's thinking of something, I hope that they ask it because chances are somebody else in the audience is thinking of that as well. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's presentation. Again, if we didn't get a chance to answer your question, we'll follow up with you via email, but you can always reach out to Rx Outreach or Needy Meds at the contact information on our screen. To our audience, thanks so much for taking time to join us today, and we do hope to see you, your name pop up in future webinars. And again, you can find out what webinars are coming up and register for them on the calendar of events on the bottom right hand of our webinar page. And thank you so much to my friend and colleague, Bill, for taking time to share his expertise and a little bit about RX Outreach with the Needy Meds audience. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. Thank you, and have a great rest of the day. Take good care. Bye-bye.